That's his style, though. I don't know, man. That was a pitcher and uh... now the referee moving. And time and right, right after I left her. Pertandingan tunjuk kelas berat antara Pander Holipi versus Pinny Medillo yaitu pada tanggal 17 Maret tahun 2007 di Texas, Amerika Serikat di mana pertandingan ini merupakan pertandingan ketiga Pander Holipi setelah absen hampir 2 tahun setelah kekalahannya yang menjadikan ketika melawan Larry Donald yaitu pada tahun 2004 lalu Evander Holipit yang dikenal para penggemar tinju dengan kepemilikan sarung tangan ketiganya yaitu kepalanya pada pertandingan ini kita bisa melihat bagaimana Evander Holipit menggunakan sarung tangan ketiga itu yaitu setelah Pini Medellon mendapat benturan kepala yang buruk di ronde pertama pertandingan ini walaupun hal itu dianggap sebagai tindakan yang tidak disengaja oleh wasit pertandingan namun sangat disayangkan bahwa hampir sebagian besar pertarungan Evander Holipit selalu memiliki satu atau dua pukulan kepala yang selalu memberi keuntungan baginya seperti halnya dalam pertandingan ini setelah Pini Medellon mendapat benturan kepala yang buruk di ronde pertama pertandingan ini usaha terbaik yang sudah dilakukan Pini Medellon pun untuk pertandingan ini harus berakhir dengan sia-sia di ronde ketiga pertandingan ini karena melihat keadaannya yang benar-benar tambah terluka akibat kerusakan pada wajahnya Tim pojok dari Pini Medellon pun harus dengan terpaksa mendesak wasit pertandingan untuk menghentikan pertarungan ini demi menyelamatkan Pini Medellon dari kerusakan yang bertambah parah dan memberikan kemenangan TKO kepada Pander Holipi yaitu pada waktu 2 menit 48 detik di ronde ketiga pertandingan ini Nose. 
You see how he's now going straight back? He's going in circles, gets back in the middle of the ring. That's what I wanted those other fighters to do early on. They're not for undisputed. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's a good learning experience. Yeah, but look at Evander. And that's what world champions do, get back in the center of the ring. He's a tough hombre. And time. And right. Right after I left her. I don't know. That's his style, though. I don't know. Melon was a pitcher in, uh, in baseball, and uh, he just wants to hit, you know, throw strikes every time. Holyfield and Vinny Matalone. Matalone cut along the right eye from a Holyfield left in round one, then a clash of heads. And despite the protest from the Matalone camp, it was actually Matalone who led with his head that caused the cut. Holyfield has used a steady diet of left hooks. Get the Ronnie Shields loved the jab that Evander was throwing. Not alone with right eyes. Cut right under the right eye. It's all those left hooks. Yep. You know, the interesting thing is if they could somehow stem the bleeding that hit him to the body harder than anyone in his career is Evander Holyfield. He hasn't really attacked my own body. Again, I'd love to see that. Oh, right to the ear, right up the cut and the left by Left hand to the ear, not alone is hurt. He's not responding. Right hand, left hand from Holyfield. And not alone holding on for dear life. She's not looking too good right now either. And Al Cerdo has come up on the ring apron. Al Cerdo, you can see him waving. That's the corner of Matalone, and he stops the fight. Thing yeah. Because Matalone was getting pounded. He was going to get knocked out or, or cut worse, and he did not need that. There was no way he was going to win that round or that fight. <laughs> Has he ever not been in shape? No cuts. All right, in round number one, Holyfield.